happy new year youtube happy happy new year i hope everyone is well i'm gonna take this i hope everyone is prospering and excited about the new year as cheesy as it may seem this is the time and if you're anything like me you got your new planner you got your little goodies as far as all your uh, writing prompts you've got your journal okay because they go hand in hand um, of course you've been uh, excited about all the different types of ways that you're going to reset you've got your um, I said writing prompts you got your affirmations you've got your whether you're going to make a vision board in your journal or make an actual vision board uh, and put it up somewhere in privately in your home um, you've got your, you, you're just, you're just ready. You've got everything like, and it's an exciting time. Um, we are releasing 2023, not in a negative way, not in a, from a stance of like, oh my God, that was so much, but I'm, I'm ready for new and I'm ready for more and I'm ready for my, not even better. I, I have said, you know, what's, what, you know, better is coming or, as if to say that 2023 wasn't enough. And I don't want to give that impression. 2023 was everything it needed to be. 2023 was everything that I made it and everything that I continue to allow in my life. And I hope that you're able to say the same. So now that we know what we know and we've experienced what we've experienced and we've lived how we've lived, we made the decisions that we made and we settled with the decisions that we made. Now moving forward, we have more insight because you have to keep living, you have to experience things, you have to go through things to know if it really is meant for you. You can be in your head all day long and sh and uh, be have this analysis paralysis and say, if I do this, it could do like turn out like this. And if I do that, it could turn out like this. But you'll never know if you don't try and, tr and live your life authentically. Even asking for counsel, wisdom, and advice, and reading about other people's stories and cautionary tales, that's all well and good. But each of us have our own unique uh, background, perspective, information, resources, all these different things. And so you may not say, I'm gonna reinvent the wheel, but all at the end of the day, you have to try. You have to try. And it's okay to try. Again, I'm not talking about going against common sense. Like, I know I can walk on water because I believe it and I'm in character energy. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm not talking about turning a bum into your Prince Charming. I'm not talking about um, uh, saying, okay, without any work and effort and uh, a plan on my part, I can just manifest six figures a million dollars. I'm not talking about that type of of work, okay? But anyway, this video is going to be about a few things that I have taken away from 2023 with gratitude, and hopefully this helps someone out there. My hair is wet because I just got it retightened. Um, I love my loctician. She is the best. She washes it. She she conditions it she puts this astringent or something in it and then she this time she kind of gelled my edges so look at my look at my edges like i was like okay and um i actually forgot that she was gonna watch i should i washed i should have brought a hat but um i just went straight to my car got my starbucks and got my feet done which was really really relaxing i had to get that in i hadn't got it look hadn't got a pedicure and I don't know how long I have been doing my toes myself terrible and when that man was touching my feet and rubbing on me I was like oh my god I literally was dozing off the you know when you feel your head you're like mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and he blessed me by giving me like the deluxe pedicure with the the wax and the uh the mask massage and the regular massage and the sugar scrub for the same price with my gel for the same price uh, as a, just a regular pedicure. So for that, I am thankful. Um, but back to my tidbits of 2023. Uh, kind of piggyback on what I was saying about uh, you really living life for you and taking the plunge to try 
not what you need to try. You really have to be protective about your dreams, your ideals, your stance. Uh, what's that word that everybody was using for a little bit that was really true? Delusion. Because that's for you. And I had to really experience this uh, the hard way when I had a moment where I was talking to my dad who uh, is in his mid-60s, okay? So, and he's a Libra and he has his perspective because of his life experience, because he had a sister, because he watched his mother struggle. He had a different plan for my life. And nursing school came back up and at this point I was like, <laughs> and of course uh, where my life had taken a I'm calling it a pivot he's calling it a, a reset and I was like no nah, no nah. you know his word choice and telling me his viewpoint on my life it was not being well received now I'm not saying I disagree with my father but what my point in this is whoever you choose to share I feel like it's snowing or something it's not right but whoever you choose to share your desires, your vision, your truths, your new you, your level up, because everyone's not gonna understand. Even with family, which is the hard part, even with close friends, besties, whoever, you have to be so protective and you have to maybe sometimes even prepare yourself for some kickback and you have to not, I don't wanna say gird, guard yourself and be prepared to defend it, but just know that you might not ever convince it's not your job to convince someone of your own vision for you. It's not my responsibility to convince my dad that I am very confident on the path that I'm on despite what it looks like on the outside. And I understand what he's saying from a man's perspective, from a father's perspective, from a grandfather's perspective, from a working professional's perspective, from a retiree, veteran's perspective, okay? knowing history, knowing people, knowing all these things that he knows, and being a leader on top of that. But I don't have to let that stop me. And I don't let that, I, I can't let that, I don't have to let that define me. Because what's for me is for me. And I have a hope and a vision for my life that you can't understand because you are not me. You are not me. And I love my daddy. And I'm close to my daddy. So this, you may not have had this relationship or anything happen like this in your personal life with your dad, but it may come up. You you might date a man that's like, so you think you finna be a stay-at-home mom off my back? And he might call you crazy. And he might be like, good luck with that because it's 2023. And men, men want to be high value too. And they want to do And he might have all these reasons why He's not going to be what you need or want, and you're not going to ever get what you want. But is that true? You might meet, run into employer after employer after employer, opportunity after opportunity that does not match what it is you say you want. But do you let that discourage you and you then believe that there's nothing out there that has the work-life balance that you are seeking? No. You say, thank you for your time. We are not going to be a good match. But somewhere out there is exactly what I needed. The salary, the benefits, the week, whatever it is that you want. I'm saying all this to say, in 2023, we are taking with us a new, affirmed, and security and surety about us that only we can give ourselves and only we can uh, give ourselves permission to continue to believe and seek and live after. Because let me tell you, everyone around me is looking at me like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And I'm like, I know exactly what's going on. And I don't have time to stop at every for every person who loves me and supports me to convince you that I'm okay when I know I'm okay. So that's the first thing. Be protective of your I idealistic, delusional, positive, optimistic, hopeful, faithful, steadfast, uh, uh, driven, ambitious, all the things, okay? Number two, I would say from 2023, moving forward, I hope that made sense because that was a lot. I would say you will 
never be prepared as prepared and ready as you think at some point you have to take the plunge and i'm telling you again this is coming from a virgo y'all remember this channel used to be called a virgo talks i will analyze and think and break that thing down to nothing else will be broken down and still don't still don't make a decision okay so that is both a blessing and a curse when i took the plunge to invest uh, with fidelity in stocks i was like because if I never jump in, all the information that I've equipped myself with and all that I know to be true would never benefit me because I still never acted on it. The market's gonna be up and down and the, and the real estate game is gonna be up and down. Start somewhere, do something, okay? It's okay. This whole thing of always Yes, you should plan. Yes, you should be prepared. But at some point, you have to take the plunge. You have to take the risk. And it's okay because you're going to continue to evolve and tweak and change and improve as you go along. Same thing in motherhood, okay? Same thing in, when you enroll in school. Same thing when you're learning something new. No one jumps out here ready to go, got it all figured out, and killing it. And if they, and that's what they said, they lied. All right, so that's the second thing. I really am proud of myself that I took, uh, first I put $200 and I said, stop playing small and go ahead on a transfer some money. So I went ahead and moved another $800. And um, again, I'm no expert, I'm still learning. I'm hopeful, I'm excited, and, you know. And uh, so take the plunge, boost yourself. Know that you'll never, 100% feel ready, but you have to start somewhere. And what was the third thing I was going to encourage you? Uh, and what encourage you with and what I'm doing in 2023? There was one more thing. Um, it's okay that we're going to start off strong with these new things, resolutions, whatever, and then slack off and get distracted and come back to it. It's okay. The fact that you are trying, the fact that it's something that, you know, you're striving towards that's life please cut yourself some slack please cut yourself some slack it is okay it is okay and i think the last thing that i would say number four would be uh even though time waits for no one what is the rush uh you know these years fly by so fast and uh but if you look back on a year and you don't have memories you don't have uh, memories, <laughs> good memories, sweet memories, moments that you were just so thankful for that weren't all, some of the, some of my sweetest memories were not like when I was moving and shaking and making money and like hitting certain milestones. They were the little things, okay? If you can believe that and know that you will have your perfect timing and know you're not procrastinating. No, you're not slipping up and, and missing deals and missing things and that opportunity to have to come, come to you. No. Yes, timing is everything, but when you're ready, you will be ready. And what is for you will find you and will make itself readily available to you. That's in anything. There's no need to be, oh man, I missed it. No, you didn't miss anything because, you know, time is, is on our side. And I really got had to stop thinking that Oh, in 2023, I didn't hit all my life milestones or I didn't, I didn't reach this milestone. It's not, that's not, I didn't do this and I didn't complete that. No, I had to look at it like those things are still things that I'm working toward and I have all of 2024 to work toward those same goals and build off those same goals and continue to create memories and rest and focus on myself, care, myself, love and eat healthy and rest and not burn out and not stress and not make hasty decisions that can impact me in the long run. So we have to look at it both ways and we have to know and believe and tell our, remind ourselves and tell ourselves like, no, uh-uh, ain't nothing missed, ain't nothing behind. And everything is always okay and everything is working out right on schedule for me, okay? I'm so glad I didn't rush, and when I say rush, hurry up and buy a house. When I was trying to buy a house 
early in my earlier YouTube videos when I was with my ex fiance because that's what I thought I wanted, needed, wanted, and wanted to do at that time. Because here I am now, changing my direction, changing my perspective. And I posted this on my, I think, on my community tab or on my Instagram. It's okay to outgrow what you think you wanted. You can decide. I put on these these pair of underwear. I don't want to wear these underwear anymore. You can do that about any damn thing. I'm not gonna box myself in. I, I decide I want to change my color of my hair. I decide I want to change the color of my nail polish. I can decide. Okay, wow. At the time when I was trying to buy out of state rental investment property, it did that. That opportunity didn't get away from me. I didn't drop the ball. It wasn't what was best and wasn't what was needed, even though I thought that's what I wanted and needed to do at that time. Because here I am, thankful that I'm not trying to jump through other hoops and get a second mortgage. Do you understand what I'm telling you? So I didn't beat myself up during that period. I just left it alone and relaxed and went on focus on other things because there's so many, we're all, there's always something to be done. There's always work to be done. And when I mean work, I'm not talking cooking and cleaning. I'm talking focusing on you. Uh, focusing on your energy, focusing on your thoughts, focusing on your health, focusing on your children's wellness and check-in things. That's another thing. If you have coming-of-age children, your self-care, what you what you show them through your actions and how you treat yourself, you ha it's time to start supporting them in their uh, desires. Okay? It's time to start supporting them and them taking responsibility for their own self-care self-awareness, self-boundaries, self-love, self-respect, and all these things. Because the time with the children goes by so fast. And you want to make sure they have a good foundation. They feel supported and safe to talk to you as they come into their adolescence. As they come into all of the things that life is going to throw their way as it goes. Because God knows I did it. And I didn't even have the best foundation. Not that my parents didn't try to give me their best. But I'm talking about my mental. Okay? So, um, I hope that look, those little chunks, little tidbits, help someone out there just, you know, looking into the new year, uh, being excited about the new year, grateful and appreciative of the new year. Because remember, let me, let me say this too, a lot of people didn't make it. A lot of people are not going to make it. Everyone dies. But the question is, when do you die? When, do you, when, it, when is your uh, journey on earth over and why? And we might not be able to ever answer that. But you want to be making sure that you're ever, ever striving. Because when you stop learning, and when you stop striving, and when you stop being your best self and loving yourself, that is where the issue comes in. Not whether you failed. Not whether you had a breakup. Not whether you took some time off, pushed pause, uh, reflected, redirected, turned around and jumped backwards and then did a somersault to improve your life it's when you stop trying completely it's when you're like that's not good that's not good don't do that don't do that any progress steps forward is gain is good and is going to help you if you go backwards and you're sitting still and when I say sitting still I mean you're not intentionally resting you're just giving up that is where I would be concerned. Okay? That is where I would need you need to talk to somebody and you need to find some find some gall, find some balls and find the get up like come on now. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're better than this. You're bigger than this and you deserve more. And you need to give it to yourself. Um Again, I am uh lastly I love love. I love romance. I love all the things, and I and I know when it's good because I've I've been there many a time. So I know it exists, and I know it's real, and I know there's ample men that will f that will give you what you want and fund your lifestyle, be protective, be supportive, and be the man that we need in this world today. But at the same time, we can't sit and wait for a prince charming to come save us from who ourselves. So as long as I'm working on me, I 
I am a match energetically and with my intentions and my thoughts and my and my desires with a man that's got resources and has established himself and all these other things. I don't have to necessarily have the physical uh, uh, the physical evidence of my hard work. It's all up here. It's all in how I move, it's all in how I talk, and it's definitely all in how I treat you. And then like when you are something new, okay? So the difference is, no, I'm not trying to build an empire, and I'm not trying to build um, uh, so much that competes with you, but the work that I'm doing is subtle, it's quiet, it's powerful, but it's for me and my my children. That is my responsibility, and it is for my my mental health and my security in that sense. And when my next man come, honey, baby, <laughs> I'll just man fast through that. But it won't be like, okay, well, this is my portfolio, and this is all the things that I have established, and this is all the this is how much money I make, and this is all the things that I know. But it doesn't mean that I don't have my own. So I hope that makes sense. I'm not waiting. I'm, I'm moving. But I'm quiet. And I'm moving smart. Uh, good luck to you. Um, Happy New Year again. And I can't wait to make another video. Um, I can't wait to make another video. I, it's, it's been definitely a journey coming back uh, like I want to with the consistency that I had before but it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay because my time is coming to be back in my own house with my own space and the privacy that I want to do what I want to do but I ain't complaining I ain't complaining now because my uncle been good to me <laughs> but um thank you for watching and until the next one peace bye